Hey everybody, this is John from Fear New Evil Ministries, and this, I hope, is going to be a quick cast. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I'm able to get through this fast. I might have to do more than one of these, but uh, I have an issue that has been, um, uh, I've heard questions about recently, and I want to address, and I hope this is helpful, but um, the, the issue that I have been hearing about recently is prophetic dreams. There is apparently a movement out there now where people are uh, discussing and sharing about these prophetic dreams that they're having. And of course, uh, these prophetic dreams just happen to be all about the end of the world and how uh, everything's coming to an end and all these kind of things. So it's doomsday prophecy dreams, I guess, basically. Um, the way I want to address this is I, I don't know how seriously to take anything uh, aside from Scripture. I, I know that when you read the Bible, the Bible's always true. Uh, when you hear from people, you never really know what you're hearing. Uh, you never really know how much they understand what they're saying, how much uh, you can possibly comprehend what they're saying. I don't know. But um, if I was going to answer a question very succinctly about whether or not I believe people have prophetic dreams, I'd say, well, maybe they can. But... I would want to test that very carefully before I start wondering how it affects my life or the life of anybody I know. And so the question I would ask you, you to ask yourself is, what is prophecy? Uh, for example, if you have a dream that is just basically the first chapter of Revelation, you're, you're having this dream and you see yourself in John's place and you're at the feet of Jesus and you, you see everything the way that he described it, are you having a prophetic dream? Well, no, you're not, because that already happened. That already happened, and you're just dreaming about something that already happened. You have the whole word written on your heart. Uh, there's no reason why you can't dream about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. A prophecy has to be something new. Always remember that. A prophecy has to be something new. Second, a prophecy has to come from God. And I encourage you all to go back and look when prophecy was delivered in the Bible, what it looked like. Most of the time, I mean, pretty much every time, when a prophecy is delivered to somebody, God makes it expressly clear that he is speaking to someone. He comes in, he introduces himself. He says, hey, it's me. It's God. And I got something for you to, to see here and you need to look. Uh, think about when Joseph was given uh, his dream about uh, being the, you know, uh, stepfather of the, the Messiah, right? Uh, think about when these things have happened in the past, when the Pharaoh was given prophetic dreams, he was given Daniel to interpret them, who was a prophet. Uh, there's always something set up by God very specifically to say, hey, this is me doing this. Uh, you need to pay attention and you need to know. And I don't, I don't know if just having a dream that feels to you like prophecy uh, is necessarily making it prophecy. Dreams can be very deceiving, especially when we want to believe them. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I just think that this is something to be kind of careful with. And I would encourage you to say, you know, um, think about in Scripture, in first, in Second Peter, uh, Second Peter chapter 1. Uh, at the end of chapter 1, he says, Above all, you must understand that no prophecy of Scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation of things. Prophecy never had its origin in the human will, but prophets, though human, spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. So what the Bible is telling you is somebody can't read the Bible and then call it prophecy or interpret the Bible and call it prophecy. The Bible is all where the prophecy is, and we can just read them, accept them, and, and that's what it is. And we know the prophecies in the Bible are, are right because they've all come to pass. If you have a prophetic dream, that means that what you dream about will come to pass. And I guess the only question you have for yourself is how long are you going to wait? If you dream about the end of the world... How long are you going to wait before you don't feel like it was a prophetic dream? Maybe it was just a dream about the end of the world. Um, so maybe it's not something you need to uh, go tell all your family and friends that they need to be careful and they need to watch out. Or I don't know. You know, I don't know. I I'm glad people want to take care of people, but I don't know if this is the way to do it. The Bible tells us not to worry about the when the world's going to end. The, the Bible just tells us to assume it's going to end tomorrow, right? That's what we're supposed to do. I don't know if me, I, just a guy, am going to get a, a dream that tells me that the rapture is about to happen because we already know it's going to happen and we've already been told that we're not going to be told when it's going to happen. So I can't expect to get anything like that and I don't know if anybody else should either and you might call me skeptical, but I, I don't mean to be skeptical about this. I just mean to trust in the word that I know and what I've been told and what I've been told is to not worry about this stuff uh, in the moment. Uh, to just assume it's coming fast and 
to just live my life the way I'm supposed to be so that I'm prepared when it does happen. Um, so do I believe in prophetic dreams? Well, I don't know. I haven't had one, and I'd be skeptical if I heard about it. I don't mean to crush anybody's confidence or hopes or anything, um, but just be careful of what you believe in. Believe Scripture first and know what prophecy is before you believe that what you've been given is prophecy. Prophecy always comes from the Lord. He always tells you it's Him, and He always makes it clear to you what it is. And if you don't have that, then be careful of what you believe. So anyway, that's as quick as I can make it. Uh, I'll probably talk about it again, but for now, that's all I got. Thanks, guys. God bless.